Happy Friday! It's the weekend! Yay! It's FYI Fridays, my new segment I debuted last week. And, you know, where I just uh, catch you up and give updates on things from videos past. Uh, but tonight, it's also a feature within a segment. Because <laughs> I was kicking around, maybe doing something like In the Kitchen with Allison or Cooking with Allison. Um, if, if I do it, though, it's going to be a short-lived feature because I'm not, technically, I'm not allowed in the kitchen. Um, you know, you cook one frozen pizza on the cardboard and suddenly you're banned from your own kitchen. But anyway, um, we had a couple of discussions, Warren and I, kitchen-related this week. So I thought they might be interesting conversations. First, though, FYI, uh, Friday's some um, updates on previous videos. So last Sunday, Warren and I went out for appetizers and beer at one of our local hangs, Sidetrack, in Ipsy in Depot Town. And uh, we were talking about deep fried pickles. I'm not, I wasn't really familiar, but apparently, you know, I threw it out there. Do you like deep fried pickles? Overwhelmingly, people love deep fried pickles, I guess in chip form versus spear form. But everybody asked if I wound up trying the, uh, the deep fried pickle. And I did, and I liked it. It was delicious. Now, I don't know if it's so much that I like the deep fried pickle or if it's just that you could deep fry anything and dip it in ranch, and I would like it because I just think it's that, you know, deep fried breading and ranch that's just so good. But uh, yeah, thumbs up to the deep fried pickle. Also, I wanted to thank my friend uh, Sherry Taylor who had me on her internet radio show this week. And hopefully you got a chance to check it out. Um, the internet radio station is a2zen.fm and Sherry does a show on Wednesdays. It's an hour. And I was on this past Wednesday. So I wanted to thank Sherry so much for having me on. And I wanted to thank you guys for, for checking it out. Um, quite a few, you know, quite a few people checked it out. And if you didn't get a chance to, uh, you can find it on my Facebook page. It's it's there a few times. You can also go to the site a2zen.fm and check it out. But um, but thanks to Sherry. It felt so good to be on the radio again and, you know, and talk to you guys. And we took calls even. So that was just really cool. And that might be something that I do again. Maybe something I even look for, you know, look to do it on my own. But I'm kind of tossing that around right now. But thanks to Sherry and everybody else that listened. Uh, so why are we in the kitchen? So a couple things came up this week that I thought were, you know, kind of interesting, be good topics. Warren made lunch earlier in the week. He made hot dogs and macaroni and cheese. And uh, pretty good, pretty delicious. He's a good cooking guy. Um, but this came up because he made mac and cheese. And I, over the years, have decided when we're making mac and cheese in the box, I don't know how it happened. I didn't used to be this way. But apparently, I can only eat spiral it has to be spiral mac and cheese and he thought I was all like being a diva like oh please take your ordinary mac and cheese away but it just kind of evolved over the years I used to prefer spiral and then it just kind of turned into a I only want to eat spiral so he thought I was weird and he thought there's no way anybody is noodle specific about their macaroni and cheese I mean if we're in a restaurant or something I'll eat any kind of macaroni and cheese but when we're eating it out of a box, I've decided I want it to be spiral. He thinks that I'm weird. So I thought I, I told him I'd ask you guys if you have any preferences. Uh, and we'll see. Am I weird or not? Also, uh, I made some tuna fish recently. And when I make tuna fish, I have to say, I don't make a lot of things, but my tuna is pretty good. And I, I chop up onions and I chop up celery. I put relish in it. I put um, garlic powder and celery salt, just a whole bunch of stuff. Um, probably to kill the, the tuna taste, but it's really good. Uh, Kroger does this thing where they chop up onions and they chop up peppers and they chop up celery and you can just buy everything pre-chopped, which is awesome because I'm always looking to do less things. So I bought the pre-chopped onions and celery and you know, when I was done making the tuna, I really didn't have much use for the rest of the celery. So, you know, Mr. Doesn't Want to Waste Anything um, decided to save the celery, I guess. And this is not something that I thought you could do, but I was in the freezer, I don't know, maybe to get a frosted mug. And I found that he had put the celery in the freezer. 
And I thought that was weird because I had, I, I was like, can you freeze celery? It doesn't feel like you should be free. That's like freezing cucumbers. Could you freeze cucumbers? And he was like, yeah, you can freeze celery. We'll keep it in the freezer till we need it next time. So this might be chalk that up to reasons why I don't belong in the kitchen because maybe this is a common thing and everybody knew that. But um, yeah, so we discussed that at length. Freezing celery is that. And what are some weird things that you freeze? I once was at someone's house and I saw that they had a bag of shredded cheese in the freezer. Who knew? So frozen celery. Would you freeze your celery or would you just toss it? Um, yeah, those are the kind of <laughs> those are the kind of conversations that we've been having. And I've been seriously immersed in research. Um, Lay's has all these new flavors of potato chip. Hey, and kudos to James Wagner and everybody who's uh, getting famous on bags of potato chips. That's a sweet gig. I'm going to look into that. So there's all these flavors of potato chips right now, and I've been helping Lay's, you know. Um, I'm taking the research very seriously, but I decided I'm not, I don't think I'm a fan of the kettle chip. I definitely love the flavor. These potato chips taste like gyro, but um, I think kettle, I think kettle chips are too crunchy for me. So, uh, lots of kitchen topics to toss around. Um, it's Friday. I hope you have big plans. Uh, I hope you have a great weekend and hopefully we'll see some sun this weekend. We can get out there and enjoy yourself and, and have a nice time. We're thinking about taking the sh show on the road again next week and doing some fun stuff. But, um, in the meantime, have a great weekend and I will talk to you soon. Bye.